got baby bikes here, and you said some as yeah. big as me can ride it? Some as big as you can ride it, yeah. What? Yeah. That would look funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would look funny. <laughs> Man. So it's pretty funny watching a couple of adults. And then I'm sponsored by Pepsi, so Pepsi gives me uh, shirts and hats, and I'm sponsored by wow. Miller Lite. They gave me shirts and hats. And now I, uh, uh, Coors found out about it, and they gave me a bunch of stuff to give away and stuff, too. Jeez. They found out that I'm doing stuff like this. So. Wow, yeah, I didn't know you did. And do you take that to weddings at Connect Four? Uh, not to weddings, no. This is for, like, a special parties. Events, parties, uh, you know, the Pepsi party or for... You know, graduation party, or I'm, uh, the next thing I'm doing down to Walpock at St. Joe's School, they're doing a, uh, the, um, a March of Dimes thing around there, and I'm bringing a bunch of the games, and they'll be playing them. And stuff. Wow, so yeah, that's just for the kids and just things that that's awesome, do. man. That's awesome. And then I do it, I got more adult games type thing. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I do for the I'm into bars and stuff, right? I know bars are so uh, naughty, ain't they? They're so well, naughty. You can, do, you can do whatever you want there. Right. right. <laughs> as long as it isn't like corporate, like B-dubs, I can't. Right, corporate. So I've got like games that I do there, and I've got, here's like Just watch for the here. 10 minutes. And I'm sponsored by uh, Miller Lite, so they give me the outfits for the girls. Oh, so okay. the girls come in, and they'll wear the outfits, and uh, i got like a sand-off contest. That's a plunger, and, and the end of it's painted red. Uh. So the first one that can sand that red off wins. So the girls <laughs> are oh, trying to sand, sand the red off the end of the plunger. <laughs> Oh, ba ba baby bottles, you put get a baby bottle, and, you, <laughs> and the first one to suck all the juice out of it wins the Oh, wins the no prize. way, man. Is it, you should put milk in uh, No, I put uh, cranberry juice in it. Uh, I had the bar put like a shot of cranberry juice in wow. it. Wow. So, because it takes a little while to get that sucker out of there. That is funny, man. Where, so, so where do you DJ at? I'm like, at uh, B-Dubs every Thursday. Every Thursday. And, and this Friday, I'm at uh, B-Dubs thir Thursday, and I'm at uh, Crawl Daddy's uh, Friday. Huh. So and then I got a um, then I'm down in Walpock at uh, at the campground down there yeah. the uh, happy campground or whatever the heck it's called uh, doing the games and stuff down there with them. So huh, so, I'm, so yeah I'm, I, I do might, it full time. I, if I ain't got nothing to do Friday I, I gig Thursday. Yeah. But Fridays I don't. He's right. Go figure right Fridays yeah. I don't have no gig. Yeah. Well yeah. it's a gig. Fridays are a bonus. Thursdays are a bonus. You know Saturdays are the ones that you know that's right. your main main. I do main thing. The thing I don't like about Saturdays is. <laughs> I get too many damn, like, for instance, I gig on Saturday, and Saturday I'm stuck. I'm not going nowhere in that place. I mean, I'm that's it. Right. And uh, it's at Sportscasters. Mm -hmm. And uh, that hurts you because then you have to give up maybe a $600 job somewhere. Well, no, no. I, I'll call, you know, I call. You call in or something. And, okay. Yeah, well, because cool. for instance, I got a graduation <laughs> to go to. And, and wedding, and it seems like it always lands on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah it, well, it always on a Saturday, you yeah. know, and... Uh, um, that, but if you can get away from the, you know, the sportcaster, they let you, or you yeah, find they somebody yeah, to, yeah. to fill in, yeah. then, you, then you're all right. Because steady work's always better than no than work. no work. So even if you're only getting 100 bucks, 100 bucks, four times, is it still 400 bucks? We told bucks, you that. We told you that. You. I told you that. I said, <laughs> See, dude. we're alike, aren't we? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You so, know, but as long as I'm walking out with the bill. Right. I can't, <laughs> right, you know. Right. But sometimes you got to be careful you don't sell yourself too short, because some people on weddings... When you raise your price, you get more jobs on weddings. Right. A bride does not want the cheapest guy Cheap. on the totem pole. So if you if you say, "Well, I'm, oh man, I'm just going to charge three hundred bucks," you know, right? Everybody else charging six hundred. I'm going to charge. She's going to think uh, most of the brides are going to think you're no good. Right. You might be cheap, but you're no good. And even if they use uh, you or somebody else, they'll recommend me because they'll they'll say. Uh, well, you know, things didn't go good. The wedding was right. uh, people left early or whatever. For it could, I could have been there, but it was just right. happened to be you. Right. But you're going to get blamed for, and they're going to they're going to recommend me over you because they're going to say, well, I it, the reason is because I got the three hundred dollar DJ. Right. I should have went with the six hundred. dollars I'm not any better, but I charged more. So pe some people will say, well, you got the biggest ad the paper. You must be the best DJ. Right. No. 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 Right. <laughs> you charge more. You must be the best DJ. Right. Okay. Okay. You know, yeah. Whatever. That's what they think. Because well, you got to think. There's, you know, like that Sparky B gets seventy five hundred bucks. His show isn't he? He's ooing out all over my stuff. You know, I could get seventy five hundred bucks if right. I was in Chicago. You know, right. I'm in line right. We're at line. Yeah, right. We're in line. And the thing is about the wedding, like there's desperate DJ. That just makes you look desperate. Hell, he's doing it for two hundred, but you want five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. And it's to the point where you know it's like yeah, but then you don't want to be over. You don't want to be over hyped either. You don't want to say. uh you're so good. I'm so that, good uh, that, right. that blah, blah, blah. Then you're, what, overhyped and... Right. 
overpaid and it's like yeah well yeah. what you have to do is you have to be pretty confident in your price and, and stick with it stick and then with it. and when they uh call you know and I, mine's like 525 for five hours that's my basic package right and then they can go up to 800 dollars if they use video and everything that's so, what i do and, right and, exactly and, and then but i stick with that they'll say hey i've got somebody for two well that's okay you know i've got this you can go with him and, and if they like you it doesn't that's why i don't have people ask me how can you uh um uh Sell to DJs, you're, aren't you creating competition? Like, no. I'm selling to you, making your light show better. No. no, because you are you. Right. Sportcaster likes you. People that go in there like you right. or you. You're not going to take any of my gigs away, right. you and, know. And, do you and agree? I can't take, even if I charge more. More, right. Because and do you they're agree? doing it. I, yeah. I got this saying. And, don't, and do you agree that competition, this business is a, is a friendly business. It's yeah. not a, com, yeah, there's com, yeah, there's other competition like business, business. But you know what? There's, do you agree? There's enough work out here for all. Of there, us. There's work for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and and your personality is going to win you over that bride or that school dance or that right. uh, sportscasters where you're at. I mean, if they didn't like you there, you wouldn't be there. Be there. You know. Right. So, so uh, somebody else could come on and say, "I'll do it for twenty five bucks. No, I'll do not. it for the beer." Right. They're going to say, "Well, no, this guy does a good job, and he's here every week. We like him. You know, right. he's, he's he's reliable. No, we're not going to even do it for free. Right. We'd rather pay him." Whatever, oh, I, yeah, I'm love, I'm love there. Right. Well, yeah. then that's, see, that's why. I'm love there. Yeah, and, and that's why there's you have no competition because I can't be you, he can't be you. Right. And he's not a competition to us because he's he and you're you. And that's, right. that's the difference. Because, you know, with... I got, and some DJs don't see it that way. They don't. They, they think it's all oh, about It's all about competition. It's all about, it's, oh, you and know. And then your oh, equipment, my equipment's it. better. You yeah. know what? The yeah. equipment don't make a no, DJ. No, it doesn't make a DJ. Right. Only thing, and I tell people, you, you're not going to make a dime more with your lights. You can you can buy all these lights. You're not going to make a dime more, but you're going to look good when you're there, and you'll get more jobs, which will bring you in more. Right. Money. And so because you got a one time chance to make a, a first impression. So when you go to your weddings, the more you do, the more you'll get. So when you right. get there, you want to be able to hand out cards, and, and someone say, "Hey, that was cool. He had some really cool lights. He had a good sound system. It all sounded good, and he did a good job." Right. Boom! You got the job. You know. And, if, if you have just a little uh, Radio Shack uh, thing and it sounds like crap and you have no lights, and the next wedding they go to, the guy's got a really nice light bar, they may want his card. See, so well, we actually made a joke about that once, what? taking a taking a little home karaoke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Home, what if I, I'm doing karaoke? Take a home karaoke system and just. Yeah. <laughs> and most people don't know when they call. They don't know my equipment from a car. They don't know if I'm bringing in a home stereo. They don't ask me. What kind of speakers do you have? They don't know. We worry but, but when I'm about there, it, I got a super setup. Yeah. But well, but when I come in, I look good and you I do. I, I try to set up good. I try to dress good. You know, I don't look like this. I, I work. You know, I clean up a little bit. You know. Yes, but, you guys see me at my bar gigs a couple times. Well, the bar gigs different. I'm talking about like a wedding or something like right. that. You know. So you just you do your own thing and they like you for well. That, so. Speaking of looking good, do you got any uh, DJ skirts or toppers or anything? Um, no, I don't have any, uh, the skirts and stuff. I use just like my banners and stuff that I use. So. Okay, ba you got, so you, you got banners? I've got banners that Pepsi makes my banners up and, and Budweiser makes my banners up, so okay, it didn't cost honey. me anything for my banner. <laughs> and then banners, them ones from Pepsi nice. were a hundred bucks each. Okay. The one right over there, that, that one that Budweiser made for me. That's good. Hey, so you got some DJ tips here today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Good time DJs and and you see look and then competition. I'm sitting here, you know, it's going on the internet. It's promoting you. I don't oh, care. Man. I mean, it's hey, I like. Well, you know, I tell it all. I, I, I yeah, think it's right. Good to, that everybody, if everybody uh, is a better DJ from it, it helps our industry to say there's a lot of good DJs out there. They are right. They are. You know, but it's all has to. Do and with I hate, design. like I said, I hate downing people. There's times where I do go to a gig and it's like, why is this guy doing this job? Yeah, I wouldn't do it that way. But he's yeah. him, and you know. Right. I mean, I, like, I don't down well, nobody. Was a bad mix, but, you know, right. They, right. They wasn't thinking that, but I'm. We're more critical just because we're in that business. Right, and you know, I. I you wouldn't like my mixes. I wouldn't like your mixes. <laughs> yeah, right. you, I, I, you would wonder, well, how's he playing this song? How's that working? Who, who would like this? And I would think some of the songs that you play, right. I'm like, sure. You know, that, I'm you sure. Know, what's he doing here? You know? Right. But, you know. And so, I mean, I'm going to go look at some lights, and whenever I pick out the one I want, I'll tape it. <laughs>